Okay, what we're going to do today is make two constants. Um, one is going to be if the Pac-Man is over a certain colour. We've got it here and that's black. What we're going to do is while it's over black, we're going to make it move one step. So that if I put that together like this and I click the green flag, you can see that Pac-Man will always move. At the same time, we're going to put a next costume which we can get from looks uh, here, next costume. What that'll do is at the same time forever, if touching black, it'll change costume and move. Now why this is important is that while it's going around the maze, the original game, Pac-Man, um, you always moved. So when you started going in a, in a certain direction, it would move. The other constant, is that if it's going to hit one of the walls we just need a color so if it's again if it's going to sense another color here blue we need to go in the opposite direction so we're going to take away two steps and originally i had just minus one step like that if i put all this together but the problem is that at minus one it can still sort of go through the walls albeit a little bit slowly so depending on how fast your Pac-Man is, you need to change this to either minus two or minus three. Minus two is fine for me. If I just stop this and restart it, you can see that Pac-Man isn't really going through the walls anymore. Now then, the next thing you've got to do is here, where it's sensing the color of the walls, we're gonna to have to go and put an operator in and an operator is just something mathematical we're going to need an or block in here because the walls in the levels are all different colors so I'm going to choose red here so I'm going to say blue or red and go back into my sprite and I need some other blocks so I'm going to get another sensing colour and drop that in and this time it's going to be red let's see if we've got another colour I've got like, like a turquoise so I'm going to go and get another ore I'm going to sense colour And this time I want to pick it up and it should be turquoise. I'm going to do that for all my colours. So I've got an orange and... Okay, so I've got all the colours now. And you can see that I've shrunk my, my stage down so that I can actually see the scripts. And you can see that I've gone through all the levels. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six levels and six different colours. So all I've done is add enough operators, enough all operators, into this block here. It looks quite long, but it means that when I go to the next level, I don't have to redo all the colours again. That's the end for this part. Thank you.